what's going on guys joel or joelico vlog here back with another video and today i'm gonna be looking at the new season 14 lego ninjago set images i cannot wait for this i've already seen them but i just cannot wait for this wave to come out i think that this is gonna be amazing but let's go take a look at the sets here so the first one we have is the keeper's village this one i'm definitely gonna get or this is the one that i you know really am gonna try and get you get three minifigures of the ninja here and then i'm pretty sure you get two other ones you get the, this guy over here I don't, I don't know what his name is but he looks cool i'm guessing he's like the emperor or the the the, the keeper but yeah then we get this guy down here and he has like this weird mask on reminds me of a surfboard and speaking of a surfboard we have a what looks kind of i think it's like a shield maybe but it looks like a surfboard down there right by the uh giant mouth i don't know what that is i think it's like a like a serpent it looks like a snake with the orange teeth that looks amazing and i don't know what this is on top i don't know what they're called but there's like the three of them they each have different expressions the first one is like one normal like a crazy angry then the one in the middle is just like he looks like he's bored or something then the one on all the way at the top he looks just furious but this looks awesome i really love this i love the purple lightning it looks amazing and jay's just captured in that trap i wonder how if like the keeper actually has that lightning maybe jay can like control it or something maybe he'll have a role in season 14 that's a little you know not it's obviously going to be about lloyd and you know just speaking of lloyd he looks awesome in this picture he looks so cool it's crazy he looks awesome i love the hair i love the detailing it's like every season or every wave of sets they just come out with better and better pictures of the, the box art it looks awesome i love his sword looks like a machete but yeah this looks amazing speaking of season 14 if you want to go see my custom lloyd go check that out but yeah this is so cool i absolutely love this this also reminds me of the journey to the skull sorcerer's dungeon that this is that's what this reminds me of so you know that's kind of cool but i think this is awesome this looks amazing i love the jungle type theme going on here all the bandanas that go around their heads bringing back the uh the half masks looks great and we have cole on top oh my gosh he looks awesome with that lego ninjago movie hair piece that looks amazing but yeah that will pretty much do it for this set now let's get on to the other ones and of course we have to have this set it's pretty much i don't know when it started but i know it started in season one we got kai's bike and then we got season two I'm trying to think i don't know if we got one i don't know but i know that in a couple waves we have definitely gotten these oversized bikes in season six season seven uh season Eh, season 8 was kind of acceptable to uh, kill those bikes, so season 9, no, but there is a lot of seasons that are just a trend that Ninjago waves have had. Can't remember all of them, but I know that they were definitely there. There's just these oversized bikes. Season 12, they were there. Um, that's pretty much the ones that I can remember but now we're going with season 14 with another oversized bike i hope that this will be in the show so that way it gives it some you know use of being in this wave if not then i feel like it's definitely gonna be a waste and we could have gotten a better set so i hope that this is in here but i just want to take a look at the lloyd minifigure again i already saw this but i didn't see nia though so i'm gonna talk about her later though but Lloyd, oh my gosh, he looks amazing. Some people have already gotten him on eBay. I don't know how that's possible, but because when I look on eBay, I just see a whole bunch of season 10 Lloyds. I don't know how that makes sense, but you know, it, it is what it is. Anyway, we're not talking about eBay. We're talking about this. This looks amazing. I love when the blue goes in with the gray. I think it is awesome. It looks great. And this is such a good set. I really just 
would have liked to see how Nia looked with that bandana going around, like, the top and stuff. Maybe we could have gotten a new hairpiece, but, I mean, I guess we got this one. Um, I think that with this type of suit, the light blue, I think it would have been cool to see us get, you know, the kind of hair tie that she had in season 10 because in I think season 8 it was like that normal silver that we got in the movie but in season 10 March of the Oni or Legacy actually not March of the Oni because they never had it in Legacy and we don't have it now either but she had a a light blue type of band around her hair to like tie her hair up and I actually thought that we I actually thought that that was throughout the entire thing like the entire show and it's not it's only in season 10 and i really wish that we could have gotten it here but we don't so we'll just have to deal with that but nia seems to be holding this type of coin it looks like don't really know but yeah so now we have this purple dude over here who's just jumping i don't know where or why but he is so he has he has that surfboard looking shield with that spear and yeah this is a cool bike i do have to admit although it is oversized it is really cool i like how the the white type of spikes they kind of remind me of teeth this is just so great and i really really like this i've been waiting to see at least a peak of these you know season 14 sets and i'm happy that we got a look at i think some of them i don't know if this is the whole wave but yeah so that's gonna be pretty much it for this set i could i think of this set either going for 20 or 30 dollars probably 30 but if it was 20 or 25 it'd be pretty good so let's move on to the next one all right so over here we have what is this called i can't really see it all right we have the jungle dragon all right this um <laughs> when i first saw it, i didn't really like it but it actually looks really really good the tongue everything i could see this going for like 60 bucks maybe like 50 but this looks really really good for some reason that guy over there has two heads he has one you know normally attached to his neck or you know the pig that holds the legs or not the legs the head sorry i'm getting i'm getting mixed up here the head and then we have another head on top with the hair that's really weird i wonder how we're gonna see that in the show um but yeah maybe these are uh maybe these are like you know allies or just you know kind of like the geckos in the months how they were supposed to be portrayed as enemies maybe they're good um but yeah so we have zane here can't really get a good look at him but he actually looks pretty good lloyd already talked about him this dragon though i really 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 like i love the tail and everything just the expression that it has it just looks weird but it looks like you know more of the goofy side of ninjago and yeah we have that machete type of sword for lloyd again and we have you know zane with the bow and arrow returning with the bow and arrow which i think is actually really really cool i always loved zane with the bow and arrow some people liked it better with the shurikens uh i didn't really mind but i don't know i just i just never really like saw zane you know really go at it with shurikens i always saw him better with a bow and arrow i love when he has the bow and arrow and yeah, I'm gonna love this wave because it looks amazing. This is great, can't wait. That rhymed unintentionally. But yeah, that's that's it with the set. So yeah, they always have been doing good with these dragons lately and they, they just keep bumping it up a notch and it looks great. So yeah, let's get on to the next set. All right, next up we have the Catamaran catamaran sea battle this looks really really good I, I, these sets just look awesome i don't know if i'll be getting this one but i could see this going for about like maybe 70 80 i feel like it would be a little bit too much but 
70, 60, maybe, because it's just, like, a kind of medium-sized vehicles, or, uh, boats, ships, whatever you want to call them, um, but yeah, again, we do have that, I think, the king there, the keeper, has that lightning there, which looks great, I love the box art, it looks amazing, we have Lloyd in the corner there, and it just looks awesome, we have Kai shooting some spring-loaded missiles, but that always looks great, better than stud shooters, am I right, alright, let me stop, um, but yeah, we have Zane with the bow and arrow there again, I wish we could have, I mean, I guess it would kind of look weird, but Zane with the bandana, like the, the headband, I don't know, but Kai, definitely a great choice, looks amazing, I think he looks so cool, this wave is so cool, and I think they did such a good job with this, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this set, there's not really much to talk about, or really want to talk much about it, because pretty much we've already seen these minifigures, um, just new type of vehicles, which actually, they, I'm pretty sure they use the same technique for the Destiny's Bounty, with the, you know, the cloth, or whatever those pieces are at the top, not pieces, but, you know, those things that have the symbols, Kai has one where it's in fire, and the Keeper has one where it's in his type of symbol, and yeah, this just looks amazing, I really, really like it, I love this a lot we have kai with those motorcycle bars there which looks cool but yeah that's gonna be it for this and let's go on to the next one all right this is the last set that we get and it's not season 14 it's march of the oni this is such a odd and weird looking set but i love it this is supposed to be the legacy version of that J mech the one that he got in season four i never was able to get the original one i don't know if that's the original torso piece for season four J, or it's the new one or if it's a different one i don't know but this looks really weird i feel like the arms are way too big and the body too the le i think it's just the legs are too small and that that giant razor or the not gear whatever it is it looks kind of weird just as another hand um this one just kind of looks off to me i don't really know if i'll get it i don't know uh but we have this spider there and some other creature thing that we got also in the uh, temple of the ultimate ultimate weapon uh this is supposed to be a junior set i'm pretty sure because it says you know we'd see i think it says like four plus there but yeah, um, this is his Electro Mac, and I don't know, I have to see it in person first, but yeah, that's pretty much just it for this. Uh, um, the, <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about this, the, I think that's Izor, don't know, but that Anaconda Warrior there would be nice to collect and build more of an army. Uh, I don't really have many, I think I only have like one, so I think this will be useful, um, but yeah. That's it. We get this little side build there, which I'm guessing is Izor. He's on. Um, and that's it. So, yeah. That's all the sets for this wave. And, yeah. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This was really fun to, you know, talk through it and go through this. I haven't done a video like this before. And this is just awesome. I can't wait for this wave. And yeah, please like and subscribe and turn on notifications so that way you see my next video. And I will see you all later. Thank you so much for watching and bye.